Did you guys hear? The Target Reader Book Marketing Mini Course Waitlist is officially open. This course delivers the step-by-step -step approach you need to take in order to lay the groundwork for your marketing efforts in the future. You can't build your book writing future on rocky ground or sand. It's gotta have a solid foundation. That's why if you're struggling with making sales on your book, or you find that the information that you're implementing is still not working, or that you're worried that the book that you're writing might not sell, then this mini course is definitely for you. When you join the waitlist, you get early access to the course as well as 30% off. Head across to jewishpages.com forward slash TR waitlist to sign up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Book Plus and Business Podcast Show with your host, Jewel. And I am back in my happy place. So for you guys who don't know, my happy place is being in my uncle's van recording these episodes for you guys on my own time. You know, it's on my own time. It's something that I love to do because I just love to speak. And it's something that I want to do. I'm not being forced to do this. So this is my happy place and I am back. You are listening to the Books, Blogs and Business podcast show with Jibu Nicole. Jibu Nicole is an independent author and book marketing coach who helps writers to write and finish their stories and market themselves online. She offers limited coaching sessions every single month on various topics of the book marketing process. If you would like one-on-one -on -one attention to your book marketing needs, then click the link in the show notes and save your spot today. If you're looking for a company that's dedicated to providing authors with planners, tools, and inspiration that they need to continue their writing journey, then you can check out my very own printable planner company. It's called Meet Your Milestones, and there I have created planners, stickers, writing inspiration, and so much more to guide you from idea to publish and beyond. Our bestseller is a genre-specific planner that was created with you in mind. With over 40 sheets to plan, edit, write, and market your novel, you can get this planner in whatever genre you write in. And if you don't see your genre, no problem. You can always send us a message and we will personalize your planner just for you. You can shop at Meet Your Milestones at jewelspages.com forward slash shop. So in the last episode, I talked about the fact that we had a long weekend coming up or we were in the long weekend and I was really excited because I wanted to spend at least one of those days in that long weekend to do my writing. I wanted to spend at least three hours writing. So before that, I wanted to do that and I got like interrupted a few times. And this time I said, okay, during this long weekend, I'm going to spend at least three hours on one of these days and get some writing done. Did that happen? Well... It was the end of the long weekend and I literally decided to write at the end of it. So we're at the end of the long weekend, long weekend finish on Monday and I wrote at the end of that, you know, the ending of Monday, hours before it was Tuesday. So it was the last 40 minutes of the day, the last 40 minutes before I sped off to bed so I have to go to bed at 9 p.m. in order to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning and so between 8 20 to 9 o'clock was when I decided this is the best time to add some words to my book so I was adding the finishing touches to my course and I was also to recording the last modules and that took all day now if you know me you know I am a professional procrastinator and it is something that I am working on very diligently because I realized that last minute doesn't really work in my best favor. So this week, I started this week with literally the first 40 minutes or the last 40 minutes of the Monday writing. It was 8.20 in the night. And I set my timer and got to work. I did my mind map. I did my outline of chapter two in section one. And I actually groaned. I remember sitting on my bed and I was groaning because I honestly just wanted to rock back and play Sims. That's 
all I wanted to do in the last 40 minutes of the day. And I decided, you know what? When I look back at this, I'm going to laugh, but I'm also going to be really happy that I powered through and I did the work. I wasn't extremely tired. I was just wanting to relax. I'm just, you know, interested in relaxing before I go to bed. So I spent about 20 minutes mind mapping and outlining. And this is a limiting belief chapter. So there are about three portions that has to be written out. I also too talked about this in my previous podcast episodes, Limiting Beliefs, how to identify them and then how to overcome them. So if you haven't listened to those, you definitely should go back and listen to those episodes because they are full of information that could definitely benefit you as a writer. Also too, I started sorting through the information that I had. So because I created podcast episodes, I already had the script and an entire blog post on it. So it was easy to just go through the information and see what I wanted to include in the chapters in my book. So I did that. And by 8.40, that session has ended. We did, I did a mind mapping and I did outlining for 20 minutes. Now I did something differently this time. And as I said before, I do not think that I have the roadmap to help anyone with writing because I write so crazy. It's chapter three first and then it's back to chapter one. And this is a lead generation book that I'm writing. So it's easier to do it that way. But I don't think anyone should follow what I'm doing. This is is just how I write. But I do want to say that as a writer... If you find what's working for you, stick with it. Don't listen to what all the gurus and the professionals and the experts have to say because usually they are working from a stencil, you know, because they are telling you to do this particular thing and a lot of times everyone has different circumstances and they have different trials and different things that they're going through in their life and so sometimes writing at 3 a.m. is what works for you. And writing from the last chapter and coming up is what works for you. So find what works for you and use that. Expound on that. And that's what I did. So instead of me writing out the chapter that I outlined and my mapped, I decided to spend the next 20 minutes to write out chapter 3 and mind map and outline chapter 3. So I started figuring out, okay, if I do the mind map for this section, then it will be easier to just come and write the section. Because I've found that when I mind map and I outline, and then I sit to write, it is more draining on me. And also too, I don't have enough time to do it. I get too excited, I want to do other things. And so I have all the shiny object syndrome thing going on. It's, it's a whole mess. Okay, so I have recognized that instead of mind map and outline and then writing, why not mind map and outline the section? So chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three is part of section one. And so if I mind map and outline these chapters, it's going to be much easier to come back and just start writing or start adding words to those chapters. And so that's what I did. So for the next 20 minutes, I decided to mind map and outline chapter three. And a lot of research went into chapter three because that was dealing with author mindset and how to create an author mindset, how to change from what you have right now to an author mindset, you know, the differences and things like that. So it would have taken a lot of research and it did. And the, a lot of time, 20 minutes, that didn't really work out. So by the end, it was 9 p.m., And I just had the outline and the mind map for chapter two and three. And then I just hit my sack because it was time to sleep. So that day was day 10 and that was April the 18th. And I believe that was the Monday. I believe it was the Monday. So on the day 11, which was April the 20th. So this was two days later. So this was Wednesday. I recorded that I had a roller coaster ride of emotions, work, and so much more. So I don't know what happened this week, but it was one of my most stressful weeks ever in work. And I don't know if you guys know this, 
but I work a full-time job. I work full, full, full-time. So instead of working the regular like nine to five or eight to four hours, I work seven to basically four in the afternoon. And where I work, the commute takes about 40 minutes to an hour to and back. So it takes about two hours overall to do a commute as well as I have to wake up at a certain time. So I wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning. I have to get ready and leave my house at 6 a.m. to reach to work for 7. And then I leave work at 4 or minutes to 4. And then I have to do the entire process, take the transport back. It takes about an hour to reach home. By the time I'm home, it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And the cycle continues. I have basically four, three hours to play with. So... It's, it's not easy. And so I documented that it was a roller coaster ride of emotions, work, and so much more. I got my Chromebook. So I ordered a Chromebook because my computer, my laptop, which was actually my borrowed laptop, I borrowed the laptop from my mom, it decided to go berserk on me. And this usually happens to me. I lost my phone a few months ago, I still don't have a phone up to this day, but I lost my phone a few months ago and that was right on the brink of when I wanted to start my YouTube channel and then I lost my phone. So the computer, the laptop decided, okay, time for me to go and then it went. So here I was, I ordered a new Chromebook. I wanted to try the Android version of the computer and I was really glad. But the funny thing about this is that the Chromebook came on the 15th of April. So that was the Friday. And I picked it up. I opened the Chromebook. I updated it because I needed to update to the latest version. And then I literally took it and just shoved it back into the box. And I did not look at it again. So while I was writing this and documenting this for this podcast, I said it was actually sitting, staring at me while I was typing this out. At this time, I had it for two days and I hadn't used this yet. I was really, really excited to try it out, but I was so tired that I just couldn't. I just couldn't try it out at all. So that was that. Okay. I came home from work. My mind was set on writing on the 20th. I had all my automation set up for my business. So we have a course that is launching literally in a few days. And I had everything set up for that already. So I didn't have anything to do when it comes to that. I didn't have to work on that. And I was really excited about that because I get stressed really, really easy at times. And I was there. If you guys haven't checked out that course, it's the Target Reader Book Marketing Mini Course. I am showing you how to identify your ID readers in 30 days or less. So you can head across to jewishpatient.com forward slash TR waitlist to join the waitlist. And when you join the waitlist, you get 30% off plus early enrollment. So early enrollment starts on the 26th of April. So if you join the waitlist, you're going to get a message on that day saying that enrollment is open for you. So I was excited. I had all that automation already planned out. And I was honestly sitting down in my full-time job and I was thinking to myself, what is it that I need to do in my business? Because every day I come home, I strive to do at least one thing in my business so that it can progress. And over the last four months, things have been progressing because of just doing one thing in the business every day. So I was wondering, what do I have to do in my business again? Like, what is it I need to be doing? And then I remembered, I'm writing a book. Okay, I'm writing a book and I have to document the journey and then come here and talk about it that that's when i remember that oh i'm writing a book so when i came home i was prepared to write in my book i was saying this is the day that i'm gonna write for three hours those three hours that i have before nine i was going to write and it was going to be really good what did i do instead no i sat down and i got ready for work the next day And then I proceeded to enter into the kitchen and spend two hours in the kitchen 
cooking food for the next two days. I cooked dinner, I cooked breakfast, and then I cooked for the other two days, like lunch for the other two days. So I didn't have to do that because in my mind it was like, okay, I'm going to write tomorrow. I'm going to write and I'm going to be able to spend that three hours because I decided to cook today. So all my plans for writing, yeah, that went straight through the door. And um, that was that. But I don't like days passing without me writing. I want to write at least three to four times a week. So when it was 7.30, you know your girl went behind that computer and she started adding words to her book. So when I say adding words, I mean I'm not exactly writing. What I like to do, one of the things I like to do to get my words out there as quickly as possible is to do speech to text. But then also too, because I have so much content and so much blog articles that have never been published on the same topics, it was just easy to go back, go through the content, sort through it, and then just take out paragraphs, add, tweak, and that's how I went for my book. So I was literally repurposing content that I didn't publish and pro- content that I had already used in the past. So for that I teach list building and I teach authors how to build their ID readership and to find them and website building and so I was able to just take all that information sort through it and get to work now don't get it twisted okay literally sorting through content and deciding what's going into your book is not an easy feat it's a task it's a task to do because you're not writing anything fresh. You have to go through and you have to see, is this going to fit well or is this going to do well? It's, it's just, it's, it's a lot. Okay. So it was enjoyable. And one of my motivating forces is that persons out there are listening to this. You are listening to this every single week. There's someone listening to this and getting inspired to continue writing. So I'm saying, listen, just write. You are tired, take a rest, get up, write. I love to write early in the morning. It's my best time to write, so I write early in the morning. But just write, just write that book. I don't know who on this writing journey or who this journey that I'm going through right now, who is gonna impact. I don't know how many lives I'm gonna be touching by simply documenting this process. But I do know that someone out there is going to benefit and learn something from this. Because I have de- decided to market my book and publish my word count and talk about my book in the Facebook groups. And I have seen how persons have been in- inspired by just those simple words and have been able to contact me and message me and ask me how to do certain things. Persons that asked me how to write their book, to help them write their book. So just write your book start your journey, document it, and then it's going to be a great story to share with someone someday. Also too, I really think that when I share my journey that you guys can see that maybe some of you are not as weird as you think it is. So as I was saying, I start my book from the middle. This book I wrote, I started from the middle. And so for those who probably start their book from the middle too, or probably you start your book from the end, you can see that, oh, well, I'm not that weird, you know, probably you don't want to go out into Facebook groups and say, well, I stand before in the middle. Is that weird? You can listen to this and say, okay, I'm not weird. It's unique. It's different. Okay. And that's how you function best. Then you do you, boo-boo. You do you. So it works for me. It works for you. Then let's just do it. Stop whatever gets you excited the most, whatever scene, whatever topic, whatever interests you the most. Just Start there and get to writing. Okay, I went off the inspiration tangent there. But let's get back to what I was saying. By the end of this hour-long session, I had 1,478 words. I had fleshed out my mind map for section 3, chapter 11 and 12, and the outline for chapter 11. So I realized that I'm reading this that I probably skipped out the fact that I, oh, no, I didn't. I didn't write chapter three. So as you can see, 
in section one, I wrote chapter one and two in the mind map. I wrote out chapter one and I did chapter two. But I did not do chapter three and I decided to do this crazy jump and go straight into section three and write out chapter 11 and 12 mind map and then do the outline for chapter 11. So at the time of this recording, chapter three in section one is still undone but that's okay right that's the way i function so i felt pretty good because here i had hit the 10k mark and if you listen to the previous episodes i really wanted to hit 10k it's a little late in all honesty but i hit the 10k mark and i did my dance because that's victory and i actually had over eleven thousand words so the goal for this book is 25,000 words. Section 3 should make up for that because that is the implementation phase and it is long. When I did the chapter outline for section for chapter 12, it was cool. And then I did it for ele- chapter 11 and I had to go sleep because I was like, this is tiring. I-, I need to rest. So I have 10 days to go. And I have about 1,500 words to write every single day in order to hit the 15k mark. Most likely, I may not do that. I'm not really worried. As you know, words and the whole word count thing is not a huge factor for me. If I have 20,000 words and the book is done, then the book is done. Okay? Um, But the thing about it is that you just want to finish the book. That's all I want to do. 10,000 words is a good range for a lead generation book i've learned that so that's okay ten thousand words but then if i get to 20 if i get the next ten thousand words that would be pretty cool and it'd be really interesting that it took me what today is it took me almost what three weeks to write ten thousand words and then in the last week i'm gonna write like fifteen thousand yeah we'll see how that works out but i'm not really worried as i said the writing process is not something that should be rushed You really need to take your time and enjoy it. You really need to write at your own pace and express your thoughts in the way that you want to express it. And sometimes when you're writing, expressing your thoughts doesn't come as easy as you think it would. And it doesn't happen in a sprint of a moment. It's a long journey. It's a marathon. And sometimes it takes days. Sometimes I have to leave my house and walk up to the river go through the forest and just reflect to get inspired or simply wash some wares or clean the bathroom in order to get inspired but i'm writing at my own pace i don't like to be rushed and i know that i am relatively a long way away from publishing my book but i'm 20 days closer to finishing three to the challenges with success okay so really excited about that and that will fulfill my goal as well too for this year to do at least one 30 day challenge day 12 which is april the 22nd so this was two days later i was so strapped for time that i decided to resume writing on my way to work now this is something that i used to do and i like doing it i used to do it because it comes in super handy it's a great use of my time especially with the commute as i said it was 40 minutes to an hour so basically two hours on the road and it's a good two hours spent if you can find yourself writing out chapters in your book if it takes you an hour to write out a thousand words then if you have two hours on commute that's two thousand words every day you can write out you can finish your book with what 60,000 words if you're counting in the weekends and if you're not counting in the weekends then that's 20 days and that's like 40,000 words in a month so that's pretty dope so I use this time that I commute as well to to get other things out so all these episodes that I record right now I would store them onto my device and then as I'm going to work I would be editing these episodes i also to record for my gaming channel and because that's a screen record and i do a voiceover later on 
in my happy place, aka my uncle's vehicle. So because I do that, I can record and despite all the noise, you just mute it and do a voiceover and it's pretty, pretty cool. I have fleshed out tens of tens. Is that a word? Tens of tens. I have fleshed out a lot of the recording of the gaming videos just by doing that. So that's awesome. And then also too, I spend time writing out the scripts for the podcast episodes. So I like to write out four per month and then record them. And that has helped. So the commute, even though it's long and it's tiring, and at the end of the day, all I want to do is just lie in my bed and see no one. On the days where I am commuting, I'm going to work, I try to maximize as much time as possible to get my work out there. So when I arrive at home, I have about my three hours to play with. So I reach home five until nine, that's four. I spend about an hour getting ready for work tomorrow. And then I have about three hours to play with. And because I did all the work during commute, it's easy to just like copy and paste. And because things are synced with my Google and with all my accounts, it's easier. Everything just gets into place when I reach home. And so I don't have to worry about that. So all this to say is that I sat in the van to write and I ended up sorting out through some of the content again because this is chapter three I do have a lot of the content already written out so it was more to just go through look at the outline see what comes first see what comes second and work with that and that was day 12 and I think that was that was the Friday and that was it that was it I was done and the entire week was hectic it was frustrating and I still got some words written, basically, and I was happy, okay? And I am very happy right now, sitting down in my happy place here, just enjoying myself on my own timing. So that is the end of this episode, Journey to Publish. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and you enjoyed the journey that I'm taking you along on because next week is the fourth episode and I'm not too sure it will be the last episode because this is 40 30 day challenge so I may continue this episode these episodes but I am not too sure maybe we'll do them every other week or we will do a month check-in or something like that but this is called Journey to Publish which means that I have to take you guys all the way to the end which is the publishing and beyond so we'll see how it goes but this is the end of this episode if you guys enjoyed this episode i would love for you to leave a review tell me what you enjoyed about this and also to tell me what type of content you would like me to talk about on this podcast because i would love to know don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any bonus episodes that i release And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Keep writing. You were listening to the Books, Blogs and Business podcast show with Joe and Nicole. All resources mentioned in this podcast can be found in the show notes of this episode. Share this episode with your favorite social media platform and tag me. By doing so, you will help many of your other fellow writers to learn how they can get their books visible and into readers' hands. And one more thing. Head across to your favorite podcast player and leave books, blogs, and business a review so that I can know how much you really love the show. I'm Joe Nicole, and until next week, keep writing.